On this episode, I do a bike check of my brand new 2021 Pivot Point Dirt Jumper. This thing is a beaut- Oh, wait. Welcome to No Front Brakes, where I ride on my mountain bike with a prosthetic arm. You might remember that I used to have a dirt jumper, a Redline D26, but it was full rigid and I wanted something squishy without having to spend at least a few hundred dollars on a shock and a new wheel. Plus, I barely used it except for a few times I rode out at Central Texas BMX, so I sold it. I've been searching for a dirt jumper for a while, but most companies don't have any available until 2022. Then last week my buddy Scott sent me a post from one of our local bike shops, The Peddler, saying that they got three in. I snagged one immediately. Like most bikes, you supply your own pedals. I was worried because components are scarce right now, but my favorite component company, Deity, has lots of availability still, so let's get this thing set up. First, I need to flip the brake lever to the left. I'm not too happy about how the cable rests, but I can figure that out in the future. Then I need to put on my prosthetic attachment. This involves cutting the grip and making space for my attachment. One thing I do need to follow up on is the grip on the end isn't really secure, I just slide it on for now. Let's put on the pedals. I picked up a pair of black cat pedals in bronze. Color schemes are very important. I decided with the off-white frame, black components, and beige colored seat that the bronze would be a good accent color. But honestly, any of Deity's anodized colors would have looked sick. If I only turn this second pedal the right way initially. I also picked up a headset cap. Easy switch. Lastly, some bronze valve caps. And there it is. This bike looks sick. Let's do a quick check. The whole reason I scooped this was the chromoly frame. I've heard the phrase, steel is real, used in the hardtail world, and I remember my very first bike in the 90s, before the time of carbon, was actually double butted chromoly as well. Steel frames are heavier but more durable than aluminum, and chromoly is the grade of steel used in the pivot point. The interesting thing is that DMR actually makes the frame for pivot. Up front is the one thing I really wanted on my last DJ, a front suspension. It comes with a Manitou Circus Expert fork with 100mm of travel. Obviously this is a lot less than the 170mm Lyric on my enduro bike, but my old bones need something not rigid. The handlebars are Spank Spoons, 785mm in width. I'll probably eventually switch these for something from Deity, like the high side or the top side. No real reason other than I want a little bit more rise and I'm a brand loyalist. Plus I can get them in that bronze color. The stem is also a spank spoon, but I customized my headset cap to match the pedals. Let's talk wheels. Dirt jumpers keep the 26 inch wheel size alive, and there's not much to say about the Novatech rims here, just that I'd like to swap out the Holy Roller tires that came with it for a set of Maxxis DTH tires with the gum colored skin wall. You know, because it's cute. The rear brake is SRAM and it's a 160mm rotor. I'm no front brakes once again! The chain is by KMC and I have my eye on a bronze colored single speed chain, but I'll have to wait for that some other time. The saddle is what drove me towards the brown bronze accent color. It comes with the Phoenix DJ saddle. Honestly, even though there's some parts I want to get for this bike to really pimp it out, it really comes pretty decked out, and like my friend Josh would say, it's more important to ride your bike every day than to spend a bunch of time just constantly upgrading it. In a future video, I'll talk more about why I even bought a dirt jumper in the first place, but until then, I hope you enjoyed it, smash all the buttons, and stay shreddy.